Alright, welcome to the Cat Dominion YouTube channel. It's been about a week and a half since I recorded any videos, and I think about a week since I put any up. Uh, I've been dealing with some family stuff, and I've been ill. The, the 22nd of June right now, even though the reading I'm going to do should be more timeless. Uh, the full moon and the solstice really kicked my ass. Um, I have uh, a couple of minor announcements or major announcements depending, but I have digitally remastered a painting that I did in 2007. It's called Egg of Life. I've put some merchandise up on my Cafe Press. That's cafepress.com slash catthedominion. It's like a million motorcycles going by. Um, so if you click on that page, uh, you'll see a bunch of designs. You have to click the design boxes to go in to see the merchandise. I haven't added that much stuff for the Egg of Life yet. I need to go back, but I did put some basic items up. There's uh, like magnets and jewelry and some shirts. I've also got, um, oh, I also made a new logo. And I, that was also digitally remastering a drawing that I did this time in 1997. So I have a new cat logo for my picture, and at some point I might be making some merch with that, too. Alright, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to grab some cards here, see what the ancestors want to say. I want to make this a quick reading, because I don't want to have to splice videos right now. I just want to get some content up. But, um, so, go check out the Cafe Press. Um, Click the link in the bottom, in the description box of this video to go to the infomercial video. I'll probably be updating that one pretty soon with a new video. Um, go into the description box there, you'll find information on pricing, which readings are available right now. Um, links to merch, to coloring books, to my Facebook art page, where and... I have a poetry book. It's called Lantern. It's mostly Dark Knight of the Soul type stuff. Where is it? I'm just going to make a version for Kindle. I just haven't done it yet. So if you want to read some dark poetry, you can get Lantern. Um. So let's get into this real quick here. So give me... Alright, so there's one of those. So good. And we're just finding out real quick something that the ancestors want people to know right now. Give us something ancestors. See my oops, there's one. Yeah, let me move these over. I'm using the Syrian Starseed Tarot right now. Let me get a quick... That one wanted to come out. Interesting oppositions here. Messages for this pile from this deck right now. Okay. Any more messages from this deck for this pile right now? Oh, alright. 
any more messages from this deck for this pile right now. One more. Okay. Uno más. Alright, let's see what we got here. Nine of chalices for the bottom, for the background energy. Alright, so let's go here. Tower. Flames. Strength in reverse. Four of chalices. Let's get this straightened out here. A six. I do not have a six. I don't think he was upside down. Hmm. Okay. All right. So what I'm seeing here is There's a competition between the physical body and the emotions. Where we want to give up and go home. And these two aspects together culminate in this lack of strength. Four and four is eight. Although in this deck, yeah, it's still eight. And then we have this uh, exponential energy coming in four times four we get the tower but it's in reverse because we're in this weak position it's it's not going to be as strong as it would be if we were in our strength fighting against an energy flow so here we want to give up and go home and we're in this position of not really wanting to not really wanting to navigate our feelings. We want to be we want to be fulfilled in our feelings but we are not ready to navigate them yet. We have to have this tower moment. We got a little little rainbow here. Pride y'all. Or lack of pride. Um, now here's indigo in reverse. This is the magician. So it's an indication of not being able to get into this personal power because of a lack of navigating our feelings and we're not being true to who we are, to our soul ancestry. But here we also want this physical abundance It's been blocked by various aggressions. The there's people that have come come in and tried to outshine the sun. There's different branches coming down to you 
that are trying to shout over each other. And here we have three flames making this sort of funnel shape, and here it's just sort of sliding off. So it's like one lineage is dominant and has been beating you down with the information that they want you to know, whether it's true or not. Because I don't see any swords here to indicate which things should be cut or which things you should keep. It's something that you have to you have to decide for yourself. You have to look at it with your own eyes and figure out which torch you're going to take up, if any. Because this defending whatever information you've had is in essence blocking you from taking on the world and in that way you aren't the master of your own passions the, you're you're out of balance in terms of willpower this is normally a king, this is master of flames. So what you need to resolve all this to get these opposing ideas of physical abundance and emotional abundance is to get to this point of being an adept of flames. This is the knight. This is someone who has sought and has begun practicing you're, you might not be the master of this flame yet, but you feel a sense of power growing in your solar plexus. You know, you have this purple here indicating the, the upper chakras here, the crown and the third eye. So you're using this, you're, if you get to this point of being adept of, of flames, you're learning control and being able to use this inspirational energy in your core to break through all this crap that's around you that's blocking you. It's an innate thing that you have access to from your lineage. And all it takes is really focusing on it instead of running away from it to get through this tower moment to burn the whole thing down and rebuild it. Now, that could be in terms of relationships, it could be your the found like literally the foundation of your life because you're you sort of it's that idea of resting on the shoulders of giants, but if if, if these quote-unquote giants that you're resting on are full of shit, then your foundation will be equally made of lutrine sauce. Um, so it, it's really about listening to your gut trusting your intuition in terms of what is real starting with your family lineage and overturning what's not working for you in your life to get to this place of being in control of desires and passions to be in your truth of who you are as a soul so that you can have your final judgment of two tens. All right. So I don't even think I really need to clarify that, but let me just grab a card from the mini writer weight real quick just to see if it says anything important. And here we have the nine of chalices, which is a wish or almost completion. 
And again, it's got this sort of intuitive higher self light here. So let me just see if anything wants to come out here. see what's here. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so your intuition hasn't been hasn't been something you've been paying attention to. You're overwhelmed by your feelings because you're not getting into them to figure out what's actually going on. You've been working, but you're impatient. You feel like your life isn't bearing fruit. And what you really need to do is to... And here's f some swords, finally. You need to take a rest, figure out what's going on, figure out what your truth is. Begin to learn how to get into your intuition, your emotions. So it's, it's really the same idea that's going on. And see what happens once you do that? You'll get that four of wands. So that's it for that. Um, again, go click on the link for the um, for the infomercial video down in the description of this video, and then go look at the description mm -hmm. underneath the infomercial video for all the information on getting a personal reading, on donations on merch that you can get. Um, I think that's it. I'm just trying to think if there's anything I'm missing. Yeah, so tweet me at the cat came back. Check out my new logo. Check out my new Egg of Life merch at cafepress.com slash catthominion. Um, feel free to donate or order a reading and take it easy bye